Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State, EDC, bright and early. Yeah, early bird gets the worm, as they say. And we have three things that we ordered on Prime Day uh, together as a family on the Tuesday live stream. Uh, it's, I don't what time is it? It's 8, it's 8.20. Uh, I'm usually not up this early, but I'm up this early because it's a Sunday and I do this for you. I do this for the people. So let's open up some packages. <laughs> So, these were my three pickups on Prime Day, Amazon Prime Day. Uh, we did <laughs> three hours of shopping on Prime Day this past Tuesday. Excuse me while I fix my mustache and uh, get a little uh, go juice. <clears throat> Cat hair. Kids, you know, what are you, you going to do? Um, no knives, believe it or not. We are not unboxing any knives, but we do have three things. that was, um, These came yesterday. I'm really excited about it. The fourth thing was the bidet. And the purple shorts, if you recall. Um, <laughs> the uh, the purple shorts fit. I can confirm that the purple shorts fit. Uh, not me. You know what I mean? Uh, and the bidet is incredible. If you don't own a bidet, get on it. It's mind-blowing. It is, it is a mind-blowing experience. It, I mean, it'll... Phew, let me tell you. So, we're just going to dive right in. I got this... Look, what is in my eye, dude? Waking up early is not my thing, man. So we got three things. <laughs> we got three things. We got this uh, EDC pouch. I've never had a pouch to organize my EDC goods. So we got a, one from Maxpedition. We got this little Hodo multi-tool all-in-one thing. I don't know. It was cheap. And then we have a Rovi Vaughn 1000 Lumen A23 uh, flashlight. Uh, that was like 30 bucks. So... I, all told, this is less than $100, and I, I, I'm hoping we got our money's worth, you know what I mean? So, uh, let's dig in. What is it? It's Sunday. What am I carrying? I just woke up. What am I carrying? Should we just go slip joint Sunday? Why not? We'll go slip joint Sunday with the tactile turn bear in Ultim. Love this thing. Uh, let's start with the pouch, so we have some place to put... You know what? No, let's start with the little toolkit. I'm going to start with the little toolkit here. This thing's pretty sweet. Let me zoom you in a little bit. It looked cool. It was like $12. Um, the price has gone back up. So this was actually a decent deal. The price on this went up to like $30, I think. What did we pay? $15? So, I don't know. It just seemed cool. Where's my trash at? It just seemed like a cool little thing. Um, oh, God. I'm trying. Ooh, okay. little instruction accordion here. Easy enough. Um, and I believe this will fit, like, the micro or mini um, Weeha bits. I hope it does. I hope it does. So, nice little, just simple little packaging. But that's it. This is the whole thing, man. This is the whole thing. The back spins, which is nice. It's, uh, it's got, like, hexagonal, you know, lines all over it. It's aluminum, machined aluminum. You can tell right off the bat. But that's lightweight. No bigger than, like, a fat crayon. You know what I mean? I dig that. Nice, dude. I really just wanted a little tool. Oh, man. And this is magnetic. This back piece is magnetic. And there's all your bits. Bro. Look at this. Look at this. We're my Torx bits, baby. So, T2, T3, T4, T5. T6, T8, T9, T10. No shit. It's got a little bit of everything in here, dude. Little flatheads, little Phillips heads, uh, some uh, weird shit. Uh, wow! There's like one that's got three prongs on it. A little bit of everything, man. This one that looks like an alien... Sorry, I was not on camera. Um, this thing looks like an alien pry tool. Got a little bit of every... Oh, 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 those aren't in there very well. So that's a thing. But let's pull out the T6, T8, because that will just permanently live in here. Magnetic at the end. And there you go. Whatever, dude. That's nice. It's a good size. Throw that in the bag. Or your EDC pouch organizer, you know. And you're in business, dude. 
you are in business. This is great for 15 bucks, uh, designed by Hoto. I'm assuming a Japanese design firm. I don't know. Am I racist for saying that? I'm not sure. But uh, nice bits too. S tool, uh, S2 tool steel bits. And these are the Torx bits with the little hole on the end. So I dig it. Little, little rattly. Whatever, it was $15. This is great. Not like the most secure in the world. You know what? I have my pry bar right here. I'm curious. Let me put that down. If it'll take, because these are Wea bits in my Arcane Design Co. pry bar. Bro, it will. It'll take Wea bits. Okay. Yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. So when these bits go bad, I will literally just replace it with a, a double-sided Wea bit. Perfect. Boop. That is so cool. Okay. Perfect. This is literally exactly what I wanted it to be. <laughs> exactly. And it's all encompassing. It just slips right in there. The back spins. It checks all my boxes. Solid pickup. Solid pickup. I will leave a link for all of this in the description as well. And just a nice, simple, elegant packaging. So cool stuff. Cool stuff. Let's move on to the flashlight here. And then we'll get into this EDC pouch. Now, uh, Rovi Vaughn. I'm not a flashlight guy, right? We're, I don't know that my keys are in my office. They're not, but that's okay. Um, I'm not a flashlight guy. I have, what, one flashlight? And it's on my keychain. It's the i1R2 Pro from Olight, the little keychain, little pill holder looking thing. This is the real deal. This is like a full-blown EDC flashlight and something that I can't get out of the box. Um, something I've been meaning to kind of pick up not so much dive into or get into EDC flashlights. That's a bummer, dude. I thought this was USB-C. That's a huge boner killer, dude. My life's in shambles. Damn it! It's okay. It's okay. So, some Chinese language there. You know, nothing else going on. Very basic packaging. It even says EDC flash or flashlight EDC there. Compact, everyday carry LED flashlight. 1,000 lumens. Cree XPL HD max output, 1,000 lumens, blah, 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 blah. Cool. IPX8 waterproof, 70 hours max battery life, 150 meters max throw. Cool. I know nothing about flashlights other than they're bright, and I like to play with them when I was a kid. Also came with a charging cord, came with a, like a lanyard and a key fob. So cool. Cool stuff. Good stuff. Great stuff. So let's zoom you back in real quick. Just... It's a good size, a little chonky, a little chode-esque. But that's it, Rovi Vaughn Aurora A23. We were looking at these, and just the value for money proposition was, like, too good to pass up. Yeah, it's micro USB. Oh, that's such a bummer. So, already off the bat, yeah, you know, these are very budget-oriented flashlights. And I'm fine with it, but anyway. I'm a USB-C guy. Everything in my house is USB-C. Fuck. Uh... <laughs> Nice pocket clip, good tension to it. I'm wearing pink shorts, but, you know. Oh, shit, that carries really well. That carries really well. That's great. Not too crazy big, not too crazy ridiculous. Um, I don't know how this works. I probably should have got the uh, instruction manual out of the box to start with. Because I'm dumb. Don't need that anymore. Go away. Go away. Thank you. Um... There's that. Okay. Here we go. Let's... Reading instructions with Dry State EDZ. Welcome. Welcome. All in Chinese. Holy shit, all in Chinese. Um, operation user interface. Momentary on. Press and hold? Holy shit. That's nice. You can just, real quick. Real quick. Just real quick. And then let it go. So that's fun. Uh, turn on, double click. Mom? Oh. Oh, there you go. Okay, now it's on. Okay. So that took way too long. That was way too hard. Uh, double click on. Cool, yes, great, cool. Okay, that's low mode. Switch mode. Click to cycle through low, medium, high, and then turbo. Whoa! I mean, that fucker's bright. Thousand lumen out of this little pea shooter. That's impressive, dude. I mean, this is like a floodlight, right? 
And, oh my God, Jesus reflected off of my counter space there for a second. I mean, that's, uh, that'll light you up, pal. What's going on, Empire? What's going on down there? Sir, sir, you been drinking today? No, I promise, officer, please. And then, oh, okay, and then that's down. At any mode, long press the button three seconds to turn off one. Oh, well, shit. Great! I mean, size comparison-wise, this is a bear. This is not a big knife. It's, you know, it's a little guy. It's a kind of exactly what I wanted. I'm bummed that it's not USB-C charging, but... As long as it holds a charge pretty well, I don't see myself, you know, whipping this. Damn, that got warm really fast. Holy shit. <laughs> That's already warm just for having it on turbo mode. Um, so, yeah, not not big. Carries really well. It has a little lanyard loop. Why you would use that, I don't know. Fools. But a single LED emitter looks like... Um, memory. When the light worked at a mode over three minutes, it will be turned on from the memorized mode next time. Specialized mode, turn on triple click. That's SOS, I'm assuming. Sure. Switch mode, click to cycle through SOS to strobe. Oh, that'll fuck you up. That'll ruin your day. Sir, have you been drinking? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> and then off. Okay. Cool. Uh, moonlight? Turn on quad cl click moonlight one two three four. Oh my god, it's just oh so dim. It's just gentle, soft. You know, that's nice. I don't even know if you can see that back there, but it's just nice, gentle. I feel like a model. Oh oh god, oh god, oh my eyes. Okay, o off please. Okay, perfect. Roe Vivon. Aurora A23 for 35 bucks, 100%. Sure, why not? Um, my Literally, my only gripe is it's not USB-C, which is whatever. Not, not, the, not the biggest deal in the world. I'm not really that concerned about it. But overall, a really nice looking light. Really well designed, honestly. Just a clean ass design. And nothing really else to say about it other than I kind of dig it. Roe Vivon? Nice. Not a ton of branding either. Just Aurora A23 on this side and then the lion's head on the clip. But a really nice little flashlight and a good size. Perfect. Two down. Finally, last but not least, let's get into this pouch. Again, another thing I've never really gotten into is pouches. Um, and these were on sale. That's a lot bigger than I thought it was, but that's okay. So this is from Maxpedition. Everybody in the chat was saying, like, definitely go with the Maxpedition one. Because I was looking at some one that was more expensive than this and, you know, just looked a little prettier, honestly, was the only thing. First and foremost, patches, bro. I have, I have so many patches that I don't have any use for. But guess what? Fuck, I can't open it. First one on there, we'll throw the uh, the Jason Grant logo on there, huh? Bam! Jason Grant! The Grant Gripper! Ow, I dropped my bear! Okay, so this is the Maxpedition Legacy Series. EDC Pocket Organizer, black. There's no model number. Teflon. Exciting. I'm gonna get cancer. Um, it just says EDC Pocket Organizer. Uh, the, the code, the number, item number is 0246B. If you're interested, I will also leave a link for this. So, um, again, I just wanted something that I could toss in my bag when I go to work. Um, when I go to... Okay, that zipper is not the greatest, I gotta be honest with you. Ooh, tons of space. Big pockets in the back. Little pockets in the front. Two bigger ones, three smaller ones. And then two, four, six, eight, ten even smaller pockets. Nice! Waterproof lining, a little clip for your keys, a little loop for God knows what. Big front pocket here. Let's get... We don't need you. We don't need you. Um, nice Velcro kind of mesh pocket in the front. Dude, phone charger, headphones, Mwah, chef's kiss. I just wanted something to toss in my bag so I could carry, as a knife reviewer, I carry like... Six knives to work every day. I work in an insurance office. It's awkward. My pockets are full. I'm losing my pants constantly, right? So I wanted to avoid that. Hence this. So let's load it up. Um, let's go. Oh, dude, this is a very chody flashlight. Let's go flashlight. 
right? I don't know. I'm not a, I don't fucking know. I'm not a doctor. Um, let's go friggin, uh oh, how many knives can I get in here? So that's the MBK Mini Old Guard. Oh boy, that one might be a little too thick, baby. That, uh oh. See, that's okay, that'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Let's go Arcane Crawler. Can we get the crawler in here? Somewhere? Oof, not made for bigger knives. Um, not made for big knives. Okay. Um, hmm. All I have on me is like giant ass knives. We'll go with another MBK. Why not? That's fine. Cool. Is all this going to clank around, though? You know, that's my other concern with these pouches. Why well, I've never been a pouch boy. That's already feeling really full. You know, let's go with the smock. Why not? Let's throw a smock in there. Cool. Great. Three knives. Flashlight. Fourth knife. Um, let's put the fucking... This is a bigger boy. Let's put... Yeah, see... There's a, there's a science to this, I'm realizing. Let's put that out here. Flashlight. And then we can put this. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is like a puzzle. One, two, three, four, five. That feels all right. As long as nothing's like clanking around too bad, I'm okay with it. Um, Pens? Sure. Why not? Um, Should I just put the pens here? Okay, well, those pockets become useless if you have knives here. The six pockets on the front become useless. You can't use them anymore. Let's go pen. Um, and, uh, oh, this thing. Let's go with this thing, the little tool. Boom. Fully loaded. The issue, the question is, can I zip it? <laughs> what? Dude, well, yeah, dude. Done. And then I have pockets on the back for God knows what. Even more knives? My God, I can just go wild. <laughs> Got a little carrying strap on the back. Nothing's really clanking around in there, which is nice. You know, that'd be my main concern, especially with black pocket clips, is scuffing up the finish on the knives. Um, but, all things considered, yeah, I wouldn't exactly put my keys in there, I don't think. Room for, like, a notepad back here? Do I have, like, a... Nope. Ooh, pry bar, obviously. You know, we could, um, have we run out of room already? Got plenty of room. I just gotta figure out, I just gotta figure out where to put everything! Pry bar. I, even though I already have the multi-tool, but pry bar's in there. Like... done i get it that's per dude toss that shit in my bag i put my headphones up front here why not let's grab them don't judge me these are my old school fallbacks for when my uh my uh bluetooth headphones die which happens i work eight hours a day on the phone so i'm always on my bluetooth headphones but these are my backups these are just old beat up uh <laughs> look i've had to like seal the ends here <laughs> Uh, with like heat shrink wrap, but these are just old school iPhone headphones. They're just a good, uh, a good one to have around, you know? Yeah, see, here's, yeah, that was my concern. I need this front pocket to be a lot stretchier than it is. It is very rigid, so that's not happening. But that's okay. This autom this already makes my life a lot easier. I wish you could feel how heavy this is. Just so I can give you an idea of what I carry in my pockets every day. Here's a scale. Yeah, I own one. So let's weigh that thing. 29.42 ounces. Thir 30 ounces. More or less. 30 fucking ounces. What is that? Almost two pounds? In my pants? Yeah, this is going to be a lifesaver. Maxpedition EDC pouch with a goofy little carrying case, but whatever. This is great. This is great. Where's the? Where's all the stuff I bought? Oh, it's inside the pouch. <laughs> oh wow. Well. So yeah, Roby Vaughn, Aurora A23, uh, EDC flashlight. This cool little Hoto uh, uh, bit driver deal, like little portable toolkit, basically is what it is. And this delightful Maxpedition EDC pouch that I I did quite a lot. Let's get you out of the way there, big boy. 
There you go, a solid Prime Day. Whether or not any of this will get a full review, I don't know. Probably not, I'm a knife reviewer. But um, I can recommend all three of these things, honestly. If you just need a nice kind of sub $30 EDC pouch, why not? If you need a nice $30 to $40 block wild EDC flashlight, sure, I would point you towards something with USB-C, faster charging, and it's just better in every way, shape, or form. And this little toolkit, if it's on sale, I wouldn't pay $30 for this, but if it's on sale for 15, 16 bucks, this is a steal. I love this little thing. So like I said, links will be in the description for everything. Um, and if you have all the recommendations as far as pouches or similarly shaped and sized EDC flashlights in that same price range that are USB-C, uh, let me know. I'm always interested in checking out more stuff, but uh, that's it for me. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye now.